Winter has come. And I think it's gone. We do what we do. Hot spring stuff. Right? The idiot trio from Fuse's place coming over, enjoying our place and making excuses of, Oh no, it's snowing! It's such a shame they were to stay here in Tempest. And I was like, come on now, just enjoy whatever we want. We learned that Milim uses Rimuru as a body scrub. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh. Oh. Milim's still here, hey. We're gonna have a Christmas episode? Santa Claus present to the is Santa Claus a heroic servant in the Fate series? I saw this and I thought about Ryder, Iskandar, and his chariot, but is Santa Claus also like a heroic servant you can summon? That'd be hilarious. Yeah, the Pegasus and the dwarves. That's a lot of skills. Silent Gifter. No. Santa really is a mystery. I think there's like a conspiracy theory that has to deal with like Santa and the association with Satan simply by moving the N and T, right? Just fucking move the N to the end here. Something about, I forget the religious lore, more evidence to support this conspiracy theory, but interesting to think about. Santa! Santa Cross, Thunder Cross, lying to you. We're, no, okay, we're not lying. Milim just misunderstood. I don't know. <laughs> Opening incoming. You put children under this immense guilt to act good throughout the entire years and then threaten them with coals if they act bad and gifts if they act well. And a random man will just show up, just, just break into your place and leave gifts if you're good. Yeah, that's Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Is Christmas gonna be like the day to celebrate Rimuru? <laughs> it sounds like a fucking criminal, right? The more you hear about it. And not only is he like a criminal by breaking in, he also somehow knows everything about you. So he's like also stalking all your private information and stuff. Like, the corporations are selling all your data to Santa Claus to make sure and monitor all your fucking behavior. The more I think about this, the concept of Santa Claus is fucking crazy. Change it up. Make our new Santa Claus here. Yes, yeah. That's easier. We always have a party. That's right, orcs get to work. I guess the dwarf bros also made a Santa outfit. He created a light bulb? I mean, maybe Rimuru gave him a little advice on how to do this shit, but like, damn, yo, I mean... Wait, they had light bulbs before, right? I'm just trying to think about like how like this world and like modern electricity and technology. Okay. They're all Santas. <laughs> they do. Santa Kaijin. Wait, he can't change his beard back? Oh no, he can change the beard back. I thought he like fucking like painted on the beard or something. <laughs> Gazelle? Is Big Broke showing up? <laughs> okay, we, we gave the Santa gift. Big Bro Gazelle, Santa. <laughs> you look jovious, ready for the holidays. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My goodness, Shion. My goodness. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say? I can't allow those old men to top me. Even the subtitles are sus as fuck. Jesus. Oh. Even her sword got a little bow. 
この催し大絆で結ばれるようにおお家族も仲間もうんうんそして恋人同士もそれは認めん Lovers? We got any lovers? Cool down, Shion. Horny bonk. Rimuru has no lover. I mean, he could literally have any girl he wants, but he doesn't really do anything. And it's interesting how his desire to prey upon... Warding, warding. Not preying upon a certain group of people, no. He died a virgin. And then wanted to be more aggressive, right? And that's why Predator was given to him. But like, he doesn't make any advances on women anymore because he's just a fucking slime. And I guess he's lost that libido. I don't know. Another door broken by Milim. Fuck that sign. Milim believes it. She owned this. Is that a thing? Millum ear? I know that she has those like dragon Millum eyes. I didn't know that Millum ear was also a thing. Santa ain't real. Oh. That's right, a demon lord. Can a demon lord be good? <laughs> she is very pure and nice. No calls for Millum. Mm -hmm. Just delusional. I mean, I, mean, I that's kind of you. Cause like when you use those ears, you want to like use it to like spy on people and get like intel. And sometimes that intel is something that you don't want to hear, right? Cause it's bad things are gonna happen to you and your people. But now it like you can't even hear that shit. But okay. Oh, children choir. Okay, I was always wondering how there's only fucking goblin children in the village. Like, I guess only the goblins fuck, huh? No one else reproduces. But hey, orc child. The first orc child I've ever seen in Tensor. A little piggy. Aww. The guild girl, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, these kids are singing! And Best is like, yeah, but they're just, they're just loud, huh? They, all they're good for is fucking loud. Holy shit, they have no harmony. Damn, Vesta. <laughs> Tempest Street Art Performer. Self-proclaimed. A singing coach, Gaviru. I mean, Gaviru is always about the theatrics. Beyond, like, the Nobel Prize worthy of research with the fucking magical mutations and the effects of potions on in seemingly inorganic substances, Gaviru also is quite the singer and, like, dance. It's, it's a both. It's a mix of both. I, I don't think that we should be getting mad at the kids for being out of pitch and just being loud, but at the same time, I'm not gonna fucking take it that just being loud is somehow like a good performance. Most culture citizen? Really? Is he? Self-proclaimed? First time I've seen Vesta do the Megane thing. <laughs> I love how the children and the teacher are like, Yo, what are these dudes doing? What the hell? We're just trying to practice our singing. Go away, you creepy grown-ups. <laughs> <What's this shot? laughs> She's so cute, bro. This this one, bro. The guild goblin daughter, but this one, oh my god, she's too adorable. <laughs> They're not gonna get along anymore? They're too busy having this beef about what children's music is better being loud for emotional effect or the pitch? Trainee. Trainee-san-wa-dare-ka-ni-present-o-a-ge-ta-li-sun-no? This scene again. It's never happened. I love how the reimagination of the of the duel between Kazal is Rimuru in a bunny suit. This is not a mistletoe. Sisters, they're mad. They're very mad. 
Trini does just offload all her responsibilities of being a dryad, dryad of the forest by like just fucking off to Tempest and hanging out with Rimuru and Ramirez and then let her sister do all the work. So I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> laughing, saving your ass. True. <laughs> Bye, Trini. Temporarily closed. Uh oh. Trini's in danger. Christmas tree. Happy Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> what do you mean, Merry Christmas? Do you need to be more polite and aware of other people's cultures? Don't you dare call it Merry Christmas. You better say Happy Holidays. I could 100% see people getting mad over this episode. Of, like, if, if the right people on Twitter saw this episode, they would be like, I cannot believe they're doing this. Oh my god, the propaganda of the pagan holidays for Christmas? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, kids! I love she's the one that never sings, though. Everyone else is singing, but Geld Kid never sings, bro. She don't get in drunk. Yom. Yom is still suspicious. Yom is still getting warmed up to us. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's what I was... Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, why is Yom so fucked up on the face with band-aids? Hakakuro. Very profound. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hakuro, for making Yom feel safe. Yom's gonna get traumatized after leaving. I love how Yom's friend is having the fun, like, time of his life, but Yom can't because of Hakuro. Soko and Soe, what's going on? Christmas kiss? Are we gonna have one? Yo, Soka, what you doing? Security? Oh. Soka can't participate? <laughs> Oh, come on. That's too edgy. <laughs> like, where are you going with this? I like, that sounds like a little bit too mean, so like, okay, what's the bait here? This is the bait. He's already fucking in a festive mood. Soka may have not liked that. No, she did like it. A gag? Alright. I don't know, Soe fucking plans on like gags and comedy, okay? Oh. It's <laughs> so stupid, Riz. It's the silly Riz, bro, but it's working. It's always very funny, unintentionally. So powerful. Fancy. Oh, that was Diablo for a second. Whoa. Let's go, Gobichi. Master Chef. Damn. But I'm sure this tastes good, but I just fucking hate. Oh, it's not even turkey, it's turkey. Just like in the ReZero world, not apple. Appa. I fucking hate turkey for Thanksgiving or Christmas, dude. I still think, just like my conspiracy theory, with the amount of crepes that's shown in anime to boost up the crepe sales. I think that turkey is straight up a propaganda. Just like this, you have this reason to like prop up turkey sales. Ain't nobody want to eat that fucking dry ass bird, bro. But they do every time for Christmas and Thanksgivings. Yep, conspiracy theory. Big turkey colluding with the government. Fancy. Oh my. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just das boot, das boot, bro. This jug is just in the shape of a boot. Apitos and Zegion mentions the bee and the beetle. Apitos <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where does the voice actor go? I love this guy's voice actor already, but there was nothing there. 
Okay. Yo, is that truffles on top? Holy shit, this looks expensive. Like, all, like, this is actually like Michelin, like, three star gourmet cooking. I, I, I'm just looking at the presentation. Is that a little fucking gold flake? Sell this shit for like $5,000 at a restaurant. It's art. <laughs> fancy ass weddings. Medium rare. Umai? <laughs> to Milam, everything should taste good, right? Because she just fucking eats ingredients back at home with Midray. Mm, don't let her cook. Good, good job. ケンスラに付けきです。おお。uh, what's his name? Yoshida san, right? Yoshida san. Oh. So. Oh. So. took that personally. <laughs> no, you can. She's very competitive about cooking. Mm, I see. <laughs> Yoshida, be careful. Maybe, maybe both. Yes. Okay. Did anyone ask for this? Can Eren do karaoke? I hope Eren's good. Yeah. All right. Let's go, Eren. Oh, Guild Kid! Yeah, she can sing. Yeah, she can sing. Gulp to out drinking. Random goblins. Yo, where's Guild? Kel would have been a good Santa too. Kel, please enjoy yourself for one stop. Every day you're just like, I cannot enjoy myself. I must derive myself of no pleasure. I must atone for the sins that I have created or Gil Sr. did. Bro, you're working on fucking Christmas like this? I mean, so is Soka, but come on. <laughs> Tiny's still here. <gasps> Gil! Oh! The best thing about Slime Diaries, I think, is the little bit of interactions that Gil has with this kid, man. It's just so wholesome, right? It just always looks like Gil is suffering. I know he doesn't consider it suffering. It's probably, like, the guilt that he bears and the atonement. Therefore, he's working so hard. But, like, oh, this kid, bro, is, like, his sanctuary. <laughs> and then popping off. And then and, and Gilda's wearing the little acorn necklace, right? That, you know, she she got in the pine cone necklace or whatever this is. But look at this. The Gilda made it for her. Oh, she's going to treasure this forever. But she's not a real character in the canon story. Happy for you, Geld. Merry Christmas. Eren honestly popped off there. Oh, Veldora. Veldora also has a Santa suit. Veldora also has a Santa suit. He just enjoyed himself. Like companionship. Oh, the game of shogi. I don't know. Does he have anything? Diligent. To do what? <laughs> That's it? Silent night. Right. <laughs> it's time to break into everyone's houses and fucking litter as in give gifts. Dude, this is Milan's room. <laughs> Just... 
普段の昼間姿を見慣れてはいるものの女の子で枕元に立ちよう。Hey, chill Santa. Santa would, hey, Santa would never think about this. Fucking give the gift, eat the fucking cookies, drink the milk and fuck off. Your Santa's about to get cancelled. Santa Claus. Oh, oh. my. Oh, shit. That move! That was a meme move in the beginning of the episode. She's actually using Thundercross? Everything. It's only useful when she wants it to be useful. The moment that it's, yeah. Both Milam Eye and Ear is OP as fuck, but. The setback is hilarious. Because if she doesn't want to hear it, right, then you, you're blocked from it. Oh, ending? Post credit scene? Let's see what the post credit is. All right, post credit scene. Rimuru went flying. I guess the hat stuck there. Is this. Something about this looks like. Milam got fat and she's playing with their stomach fat or something, you know? But <laughs> it's just Rimuru. Body pillow? Rimuru body pillow. I want one. <laughs> she's, she's just fixing up the house for her. Oh, a gift. Huh? Who gave this? Nobody knows? Santa? Is it actually Santa Claus? Yeah, that, that was me. Yeah, maybe Santa's real, guys. Oh my god, guys. I think Santa's real. I want this to move, bro. It should look at us in the camera and wink at us or something. Move. move. Come on. Oh! oh, oh, oh. This shit happened a lot in children's Christmas shows I watched in the ch in the past. I've watched TVs and there's like the miracle Christmas miracle shit. Santa winking was a constant theme that happened. No man, no man. Like in my heart, I knew that would happen. It's the miracle of Christmas on TV, bro. That's so hype that actually worked. Preview? We're not done yet. We're not done winter yet. Sky Queen? Wait, wait, wait. How, how are you gonna eat the chicken and then ask Frey? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Sky, you gonna you gonna uh, you gonna eat chicken then talk about Chicken Queen Frey? <laughs> and in the season three, right? Didn't we literally have like karagi chicken or some sort of fried chicken and then Frey walked in? It's like, oh shit! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is another episode of Slime Diaries. We have one more to wrap up the season with the New Year's episode, but the Christmas episode was a delight. One of my favorite things, again, is just Eren's song was amazing, but like little, you know, goblin kid that loves Gel trying to find Gel and Gel still working and then they share a gift together. It is just, ugh, it, it is so fucking wholesome what they got going on. I just wish that she would show up in the actual canon story, you know, just to see a little bit of interaction with Gail, but it's so adorable how she also has the same scarf to mimic Gail, man. Just, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a wholesome ass relationship they got going on there. Aside from that, it's just cuteness all around, some funny ass scenes with like Gazelle and Santa suit, Soei with the fucking, you know, the fan funny mask on, and Veldra, I feel bad that Veldra just like stuck in here and can't participate and has to like watch everyone else have fun. That's why he's so excited to finally get out, but that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.